Here's an inline satellite signal amplifier. Sometimes they're called signal boosters. These boosters are inexpensive, easy to install, and don't require an external power source. They use voltage from your receiver to boost your signal and overcome long cable runs. I mentioned these are easy to install. They call them inline amplifiers because they're literally installed in line with your coax run. On one end, you have the input from your LNB. On the other end, well, that goes out to your receiver. How effective are they? Let's run a test and find out. To conduct this test, I'm using about 415 feet of coax cable, including the outside run to the dish, and that's being conservative. I'll check signal levels on certain channels with and without the amplifier. Here is MeTV with no amplifier. This is Daystar, no amplifier. Here's Decades, no amplifier. This is Heroes and Icons, no amplifier. This is Living Faith, no amplifier. And now with the amplifier installed, let's check the same channels and see if those signal levels have changed. And this is me TV with the amplifier. And here's Daystar with the amplifier. Here's Decades with the amplifier. Here's Heroes and Icons with amplifier. Here is Living Faith with the amplifier. Still pixelated, but we're using over 400 feet of coax cable. You can see that the signal level seemed to benefit from the amplifier much more than the signal quality. In some cases, there was a significant gain made um, with the amplifier. But no real changes in signal quality. And uh, the improved signal levels to me suggests that uh, while there might be a good signal quality available at each channel, uh, there may not be enough of it uh, without an amplifier to get a reliable signal. So using an amplifier in some cases uh, might be the difference between having a picture that is watchable or not. It might not be a bad idea to have uh, one or two of them handy in case you are trying to pull in a stubborn satellite or dealing with a long cable run. Final thoughts? I used over 400 feet of coax cable to conduct this test. In most situations, the cable run will be much shorter. You'll have to decide if one of these boosters is right for your situation. But for the price and the ease of install, it's probably good to have one on hand just in case. And finally, installing one of these on a short coax run can actually have the opposite effect and overload the signal to the point where you might have channels dropping out.